obviously the 03 start much better record over the next three but does it feel like the, the these this, these three when you've gone 2 0 and one have actually i mean are y'all playing better in these three not necessarily but we we also maintained and said that uh, even in the three losses that we we played a, a decent soccer in those games so we were we were in all the games uh, in fact, you could possibly even argue that in, in the losses we played a little bit better in, than in the wins or in, in the tie. But uh, that's that's the nature of this league. I think you sometimes uh, games aren't going to be pretty, but uh, you have to fight through it and, and sometimes grind out a result. And that's what we did. Have you ever heard of a play in the snow? I know it's, this week in Colorado, it's supposed to be kind of warm, but I don't know if you saw the highlights of their game uh, over the weekend in, in the snow. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm from Switzerland, so I've, <laughs> I've had my fair share of playing on mud fields, fields that turn into icicle fields and, and not, not much fun. So, But uh, I'm well seasoned when it comes to that. But hopefully it's, it's going to be good weather and uh, I know their grounds are usually pretty nice. So uh, hopefully it'll, be for, it'll make for a good, uh, good football match. Potentially random question, but you know Dallas pretty well. Uh, having played them in the playoffs last year, they're top of the West right now. What makes them such sort of a formidable team, especially even playing without Diaz? They seem like they have this sort of knack for picking up points. Uh, they're, 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 they're still creative even without Diaz. They're, they're very creative and very offensive minded. You know, they have they have pace, they have skill. They, I think they have a certain uh, a certain arrogance to them that comes with youth, which is is especially if you're an attacking minded team, is a good thing because uh, uh, you're fearless. You don't you almost you almost don't know any better. You know, so so you just go at guys and you. You try to beat them, and uh, I think good things can come from that offensively. So uh, I think that's that's partially uh, one of their success, or what makes their success. And uh, they're a tough team right now. They're they're uh, obviously with the results as well. The the confidence is high as well, and that that helps for sure. And Jovan and Dylan have been swapping out a little bit mm -hmm. on the back line. What do each of those guys bring that might be different from the other guy's skill set? Um, yeah, Joe wins extremely fast. Dylan's not slow either. Uh, I'd say maybe uh, Joe wins a bit more attacking minded than Dylan, and Dylan's a bit more conservative. But uh, the one thing that they have in common is they're both good players, and it makes for uh, competition, which I think is going to raise both of their games, which is ultimately going to help the team. So it's, it's fantastic. It's exactly what you want in the team. Sure. What do you make of this whole Chad Marshall goal scoring trend? What's the luxury of having a center back that can kind of offer that threat from your back line? It's about time. He gives me a stick in training all the time. He scores on me left and right, and in the games, he. He just uh, takes a snooze, snoozer and all that out there, but uh, so it's good to finally see him score some goals. But uh, obviously, you want the strikers to, to to get going and build a rhythm. But uh, sometimes some other someone else has to step up, and uh, uh, he's very clinical, you know, in his finishing. And I think he's uh, he's shown it in, in Houston with a simple tap in, and now we well, you know he's Air Marshall as well. So uh, he's he's a well-rounded player all in, in the back as well as in the front.